My dog is a big red dog. Other kids I know have dogs too, but I have the biggest, reddest dog on our street. I didn't think of being a writer um, early on. I always wanted to be an artist. Uh, it never occurred to me to be a writer. But the book that made me want to be an artist was Pinocchio. The illustrations were done by an uh, Italian artist in black line work, and uh, they were just beautiful. They, I kept going over those drawings time after time. What, what inspired me to write about Clifford? There was a dog uh, that I read about in Belgium, a large working dog that pulled carts. And I thought, wouldn't that be great uh, to have a dog that you could ride like a horse? I tried riding a horse once and it was a complete disaster. And after that, I always thought, well, a nice gentle dog you could ride would be the ideal pet. And I guess he was there in the back of my mind when I made up the story about Clifford. The name Clifford uh, was uh, given to the dog by my wife. Uh, I was going to call him Tiny. <laughs> and she said, well, you can't call him that. So I said, well, you name the dog. And she went back to her childhood and took the name of an imaginary playmate, and she named the dog after Clifford, the playmate. When I did the painting, I painted the sky blue and the grass green and the little girl's dress, and I had a jar of light blazing red poster paint sitting on the drawing table, and I thought, well, maybe being big isn't enough. Maybe if you look like a fire engine, that might be a little special. So I put my brush in the red paint and I made him bright red. And I exaggerated his size as I started thinking of the story. I thought, well, if he's funny being a little bigger than a horse, what if he's as big as a house? And I made him a gigantic red dog. <laughs>